below. Can you guys hear me? Here's my chat. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I'll get you some. I promise. <laughs> thank I you. I gotta figure out where to put the water in. And I don't good. stress about it if you can't find anything. Oh, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet. <laughs> okay, right, come thank you. Okay, come here. Hi, chat. Hello, hello, guys. Um, the, the waiter is very uh, admirably trying to make sure that the dog has water, and he's like, I gotta, I gotta find something to put the the water in. Let me see if I can put you guys on the screen real quick. Um, there you guys are, I think. Maybe. Um, hello, how are you guys doing? Welcome in. Sorry that the stream was a little bit late. I couldn't wake up again because I've been staying up till 6 a.m. I can't fix it. I can't break the cycle. Um, oh, I have a coffee though. I sat down. Also, this is the second time this has happened to me and I need to not let this happen again, but I go to stream and my um, my data on my spare phone is run out. So then I have to go into the website and I have to like refresh it. So I have to like go in and I have to like re-up my plan and stuff. So I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes trying to do that. Did I expect to stream at this random time or random location? I don't know. I'm thinking too. Okay, come here. I'm thinking too. Huh, say that again? Do you still need some time to check out the menu? Um, I think that I can decide very quickly. Well, I can give you time. Could I just do the eggs Benedict? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Let me stir the tail for you. Traditional eggs Benedict. Yeah. All right, anything else? No, that's it. All right. I will send Can I it. keep this menu, though, for yeah, a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Thank oh, you. Sure. Yep. Appreciate right it. Um, bring out this epic bacon with all the sauce. Yeah. So, uh, hi. I'm trying to act like we're here for anything else. Well, I came to this place and I was looking at the menu online and it's like a waffle restaurant. And so I wasn't sure if they would have Eggs Benedict. So I was like, you know what? If I go and I don't get Eggs Benedict, like whatever. Like I do, I kind of want to roll this like... Wednesday eggs benny thing into just kind of like a Wednesday food thing so I can go anytime because when I do the eggs benny streams I have to be somewhere by 2 p.m. and like that's such a weird time to go do a stream when I'm usually a nighttime streamer anyways you know so it'd be nice if like on Wednesdays rather than getting eggs benedict I get like food like it's just like a go eat somewhere stream because then we can like kind of open up our variety because to be honest it seems weird because it's LA but I'm already kind of running out of places that I can find that look good. Um, so you know, who has like a speakerphone? I don't know what's going on? But anyways, I got this coffee. It's yummy. It looks tasty. Um, situation I wasn't expecting. Oh, the specters here. Oh, interesting. So. I'm gonna chill on bringing the water out. Okay, for just that's a that is totally fine. She's uh, allowed to be here, right? Oh, 100%. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but okay. I do want to get water. That's. But do I'm just letting you know. Do whatever that's like is good for you guys. <laughs> do you need anything else? You're still okay. No, I'm great. Okay. Yeah. You guys hear what he just said? He said that the uh, so Oki's with me, and they were like trying to figure out a, a way to bring out water, and. Um, and he came out and he was like, he's like, I did not expect that, but the health inspector is here. And I was like, oh. And so he's like, I'm probably just gonna chill on bringing the water out for a little bit. And I was like, that is totally fine. <laughs> so I don't know. So anyways, weird timing to show up. What a nightmare for this place that the health inspector is here and then also an influencer. That's terrible on there. Um, Doogie, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, the alerts don't work on my phone for some reason. What crazy timing. But anyways, how's your guys' morning? What'd you do today? I woke up so late once again. Once again, so late. 
I know one alert that does work. You're right, I gotta do this. Every time I do it, I forget where it is. Oh, there it is. Um, yo, Doogie, thank you so much for the reset. I appreciate it. Um, did you guys see they like announced a thing on Twitter where they're doing, it's kind of like September, but it's like the end of December. Did you guys see that? Breakfast. Thank you. I literally just got done giving a presentation. How did that go? Building a tunnel in your Minecraft house, Sam. That's, you know what? It's fine, I guess. Just don't pee in it. That's my thing. It is night for me, but so far the day has been bad. <laughs> I don't like that for you. God, I woke up so- I've been waking up so- You motherfucker. I swear to God, if any normal people see me doing this, they're gonna try to get rid of all its influences. Yo, Syro, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. It's out of this world, man. Crazy. Blasting off to my fucking bank account. Home slice. Somebody saw me doing that publicly. Somebody looked, they turned their head and they looked at me while I did that. That's so good. But yeah, they're doing like a, a September thing at the end of the month where it's like gift subs are cheaper, bits are cheaper, and resubs are cheaper. And so I was like trying to figure out like what I, if I should like do something, like something like the Spirothon. There's this guy that's working here that keeps coming out, sticking his head out and looking at me and standing and looking at me. And I don't know if he like thinks that I'm like part of the health inspecting crew or what, but he comes out and he just stands there and like looks at me and then goes back in. What am I doing? What could I be doing? I'm not doing anything. Do I look like a health inspector? I don't look like a health inspector. Morning. Take my cat outside so I wanted to get that out of the way. Have you ever mentioned having a cat before? I don't think that I've ever, I don't think I've ever heard that before. Yeah, oh, thank you so much. I has, really appreciate it. The A has been achieved. Oh, you? let's go. <laughs> you feel good? Yeah, I'm great. Okay. He said the A has been achieved, so this is big for us. We're officially not getting food poisoning. Kind of comforting that the day, why am I so bright? The day that I come here to get breakfast, the health inspector comes in and it's thumbs up. <laughs> so this is, this is big. How did I get gifted a sub here? Well, somebody came in and was like, man, you know who would really love this stream? Giraffe underscore rider. And we were like, yes, they would. Let's go. Achievement unlocked. Healthy egg. We're getting a healthy egg today. Finding out you have an undercover health inspector vibes on this lovely Wednesday <laughs> afternoon. Um, it's giving a health inspector. And so she posts a morning to Suzu. Cute! Imagine they fail while you're there. Can you imagine? What would- can you, Okay, imagine a scenario where like this place is not gross, but for some reason they get some like terrible health inspecting score. And then, um, I'm here like live streaming and they come out and they're like, yeah, so we failed the, uh, the health inspection. We're gonna actually have to ask you to leave. I would be like, I don't- I didn't even mean to do this to you guys, but this is horrible. <laughs> Oh yeah, Clara, I saw your tweet, I think. I think it was on Twitter. About the, the practice. That's, that's very cool. Very big. Real Sabine, hello. Um, there's also some other really large news that I would like to say publicly. And I'm really, you know, this is a really big piece of news. And I think that unfortunately it might um, compromise the stream a little bit. And so I just am going to come out clean and I'm going to say it. Um... House Flipper 2 comes out tonight, so I will be playing that non-stop for probably the next week, and it's, it is so Jover for all of us from now until I inevitably burn myself out from that game. Can I stream that? You guys cool if I stream that? I know it's like Hell's Flipper games kind of can be a little bit of like a lull, but like I don't want to pick between streams and playing the game. So once we get Alan Wake over, I'll play it. I'm gonna play it like either tonight or tomorrow, whenever it comes out. But um, we'll finish Alan Wake and then I'll stream that one. 
do like an AMA only stream or something. Yeah, I think when you do those kinds of games, adding a little extra spice helps. Every house in LA is gonna be upside down. Well, the cool thing about this house flipper, from what I understand, is there's a sandbox mode, which all of the house flipper games, you can only go in and like fix up the houses that they already have in the game. But in this game, I think you can, you can do your own shit. Like you can build your own houses. Which is wild. The last house flipper stream gave us millennial brain. It did do that. I don't stream tonight, no. Soup is doing like a PVP thing on the Minecraft server. So if you're in the Minecraft server, that'll be to do. I'm so fucking excited for Hunger Games, guys. I'm so excited for Hunger Games. Like, I've been thinking about it all night. I think tonight my plan is to make more animated emotes or at least like plan out which ones we're gonna have. But I'll probably like scan and see if there's any like funny gifts or anything. Make some more animated emotes. Um, and then uh, kind of like brainstorm the Hunger Games thing, you know, like how that's gonna work. So, cause I told the Blur Engineers, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna come up with the rules and then just bring them to them and have them tell me why it doesn't work basically. And um, just kind of do like stream maintenance stuff. Cause then the rest of the week we have Thursday stream, we have Friday stream. Um, Cutie's concert is on Saturday. If I don't get home too late, I might consider streaming after that, but I don't know. And then Sunday is Hunger Games. Yeah, watching my new Hunger Games for the sixth time tonight. Is it that good? You are such a movie theater frog. You really are. I have a lot of things for Hunger Games in my brain. Yeah. We have one thing that I'll like kind of spoil because it's a Hunger Games mechanic in the movie. We're trying to hash out the logistics of a way that you guys can, you know how like in Hunger Games they like send care packages to the contestants, you know? We're trying to hash out a way that you guys can kind of interact with the game even if you're not playing in it. And one idea that I had was, yeah, like sponsors. One idea that I had, because one thing that I really like try to stand for is if you can donate to the stream, that's amazing and it, I appreciate it, but I don't want to put a situation where somebody who can donate more to the stream has more fun. I don't like that. So I think what I'd like to do is get like a wheel and then say, okay, every time we get to, you know, 50 sub increments, I spin the wheel and it makes something happen in the games. And it may be good and it may be bad. Like maybe everybody that's on the, the playing field like gets full health. Or maybe it starts lightning and thunder, you know? Um, I was thinking about channel points too. The problem with channel points is doing channel point redemptions is a really hard thing for me to track without having to go into the the thing because I can just put a sub goal on the screen so everybody can see it. With channel point redemptions, I can't really do that. So it would kind of just add another layer of things that we would have to monitor, um, which sucks. Um, use votes and channel points. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna try to, or that's kind of part of what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna brainstorm so if anybody has just like an idea that you think would be just too good to not mention, um, like please let us know. We may or may not do it. We may take it and change it, but that's my plan today is to kind of brainstorm. Do you like pickles? Sure. I just joined, so are we talking about the Hunger Games IRL event with the streamers being contestants? We're doing, so I have a, a Minecraft server for the community and we're doing, we're doing Hunger Games for that. Thank you so much. Anything else I can get you? No, I think we're good. Thank you. Right. I appreciate you it. You still want that menu? No, th thank you so much. Okay. You're still aware, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you guys think I say thank you too much? Because I notice when I go to restaurants, I like my response is, no, thank you too much. No, thank you so much. No, thank you so much. No, thank you so much. So yeah, the, the Minecraft server that we have, this is the Eggs Benny. So this restaurant that I'm at is like a waffle place. Um, so Eggs Benny is definitely not like their thing. So I don't really know what to expect here, but here it is. The ham is really thick. We've got really thick ham, which is actually not, could maybe not be terrible. Um, looks like there's a lot of hollandaise sauce on it, which is yummy. The eggs I have yet to cut. 
Uh, the biscuit underneath looks good. I have a feeling since it's a waffle place that the biscuit might be good, you know? I don't know. It's thick ham, which I'm not a big, like, ham person, but I don't really think that would be, like, a bad thing for a lot of people. Yeah, it looks all right. It doesn't look bad. Um, I don't know if I'm the best customer to have because they, they close soon. Okay, I cut the egg. Here, I'll put this down here for you guys. Cut the egg. This actually may be the best cooked egg. It's a little thicker than the other eggs are. It just looks like a really good egg, to be honest. Because sometimes the eggs are too watery and it just kind of goes away, but this one's cooked just enough that the egg is like mixing with um, the hollandaise sauce and, and staying on it. Yeah, really good consistency. Yeah, yeah, it looks tasty. Fucking wrong. Oh no, the sun is hitting this building across the street and it's gonna blind me for a while. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, let's go for a bite. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Yeah, Oki's here, by the way. I didn't show you guys Oki. English muffin's kind of tough, but I'm also using a um, bread knife to cut it. Okay. I think we've got, we've got hollandaise off, we've got ham, we've got egg. I had to bite half of it. Mm. tastes good. The egg is, I think that, I think that the egg is a really good egg. Like, farm fresh maybe, because the egg tastes really good. The hollandaise sauce is good. Nothing's really like overpowering. The ham for being as thick as it is, is actually really tasty. Um, one thing they did that I've only had like two other places do, is there is like a taste of citrus in there and i don't know if there's supposed to be citrus in something in hollandaise sauce but it tastes really good and you can you can taste it i'm not gonna lie like i didn't really have super high hopes because it's like a waffle place and it's not super busy either the english muffin is a little tough i will say if he comes back out here i might ask for a steak knife but it's not bad, it's just hard to cut. Um, you're giving help inspector? Am I giving C word help inspector a little bit? I'm sorry, I'm getting blinded. This, I, I don't know if you guys can see, like, like the sun is hitting this building so, and it's reflecting like right onto my face. And it is, we are, that's really some slide of, the slight acid of the citrus balances out the fat from the oak. Yeah, it, it packs such a punch, like when they do that. Uh-huh. I look majestic, I don't feel majestic. Uh-huh, that's a really good gimbal. Um, I might move to the other side. Yeah, this is good. Can I have a steak knife? Yeah. Same girly pop? Yeah. <laughs> I look majestic. I do not feel majestic. Yeah, this is, um, I hate, I feel bad saying surprisingly good, but like, I think this probably could be in one of the top, I think if the, if the English muffin was like a smidge fluffier, then it would be like, you know what I mean? About that. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Life is gonna be so much better. Oh, so much better. Love it. Um, yeah, so, anyways, Hunger Games on Sunday, that'll be great. Concert on Saturday, that'll be what that is because I'm gonna be singing. I feel a little better after putting my costume on last night and kind of like practicing. If it's a lawful place, I feel, see, this is the thing is like, I do Eggs Benny every Wednesday. We love it. We've been doing it for like, 
basically a year it feels like not straight because we've missed a bunch but I feel like we're kind of hitting a wall because I go to places like this and it's a waffle place and I get eggs many because I'm trying to get all the breakfast places and it's like I should just do breakfast streams because then I can go anywhere I can go at any time I can go to places multiple times you know Yeah, Reckless, I'm gonna be on in the play on Saturday three times. I'm doing a song with Non and Barry, and then I'm doing a song by myself, and then I'm doing, I'm in the play. So, there will be a lot of sandwich in the play. I think other than like, I think other than Cutie, I might be in the play, maybe like Cutie and Lud, but I might be in the play the most. I ain't sitting down, which I'm excited for. I'm happy that me and Non and Barry are going before me because then I can kind of get my nerves out in a group setting, you know? Like I'll be up there and I'll kind of get a for feel for it. And then when it's just me, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, Mason. I'd be able to catch some of the bottom frogs if we do morning stream too. Yeah. You're a reliable streamer, hot commodity. Well, you know, I, I, I benefit from these things a lot. Like, and so I think that like, you know, obviously it's, I'm excited every time. The, the opportunity cost is like, not very high. Where I know that like it might be hard to get other people to commit because the opportunity cost is a little bit higher. Dude, the sun is fucking my shit up. It should be down soon, but it's like overstimulating me. Like you know how when you have like a light shining in your face, you get kind of like overstimulated. You know what I can do? I can sit here. And I'm gonna have this sun behind me. I'm gonna look really angelic. But at least I'll be able to see. Um, they gotta take sunglasses. I used to have a really nice pair of sunglasses and then they got stolen with my car and I need to buy a new pair. Do I look like an angel if I do this? <laughs> A lot of streamers will get mad when people call content creators not a job, but also laugh because the majority of streamers don't act like it's a job and you can do that and it's very respected. Yeah. Um, content creators are the flakiest of any industry I've ever worked in. And I worked in the cosmetology industry. And cosmetologists are notoriously flaky because a lot of cosmetologists just didn't know what to do with their lives, so they just started doing hair. Or nails, and I can say that because I was one of those people. Um, content cre creators are really flaky and they're really hard to get to commit to stuff, so I just like think about all of the events that Cutie does and how much of a fucking pain that must be <laughs> to get people to like commit, you know? Sun setting already that's diabolical. Dude, I know, right? What time is it? It's like th four? No, it's probably not even three, it's 2.30 or something. It's boring, but sunset waiting breakfast would be wild. Well, I want to do, I almost did this today, but I was just like, there's no way that I get this all set up. Um, I want to do like a, a Eggs Benny cooking stream because I've had it enough times. Like, like what if, what if we like go out on a bang and we do Eggs Benny cooking stream and then we kind of put Eggs Benny to rest and then from here on out, we just do like, like restaurant streams. Cause you know what I was thinking today? There's, um, hey Rhino, thank you for the four. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yo, Rhino, thank you for the uh, four months. I appreciate it. I was thinking like, it would be really fun to go to like weird restaurants in LA. Like, like there's gotta be some like just weird restaurants. Like there's a coffee shop that I saw the other day when I was driving. It was kind of near that breakfast place that me and John and Kraken went. Um, and it was like a horror themed coffee shop. And I was like, 
What the fuck? Like, that looks cool as hell. This message was typed with my nose. Why did you do that? You could do All My Friends Cook Me Breakfast series. That's kind of fun, actually. What? A horror... Okay. I see what happened here. Horror. A horror-themed coffee shop. Horror. Like, blood. Maybe, I don't know. Um, looks cool, but it might be lame. I don't know. Um, did you guys see that they updated like the terms of service for Twitch with like the because of the people that were like oiling up their titties and shaking them around? I didn't read the blog, it was really long, but from what I've seen, it basically seems like they're allowing people to do that kind of content but they're just not promoting it like they're saying like okay you know we're gonna just kind of let you guys do what you're doing but we're just not gonna we're just gonna suppress you a little bit finally we can twerk finally pole dancing streams incoming dude pole dancing is a fucking crazy sport and i would like so platonically like watch it just out of like the athletic ability, you know? So good, okay? Yeah, great, thank you. What, you guys close at three, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you want the check? Or I, yeah, if stuff. you want to bring it, then I'll just like okay. pay it right now. I don't understand why people don't just, why people just watch porn. I kind of don't get it either, like, I don't know. Maybe it's because you can interact with them while they're live, you know? But, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, you do you. But it's the the audience base I'm just a little bit confused about what, you know, it's like, like, I think, I think what it is is it's like they get to interact, you know what I mean? I think that's what it is. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. People love the parasocial aspect of it, yeah. They do, because if you go into those chats, it's all people just trying to talk to them. So, I don't know, but... Like I was saying yesterday on stream, I just like... I just like don't really care. Like, there's like a lot of these like trends that come up in the like different categories and they're they're just like kind of... They, they, they're just kind of goofy, you know? It's like the... The the ear licking and like all this stuff and I kind of go like like it just is like goofy because it's like another way to circumvent like the like what's going on but I like these people are like utilizing the platform to make money off of people that are consensually paying for that content and so it's like like get the bag I like I just say like I just see it and I'm like Okay, and then I say, get the bag, and then I, like, stop thinking about it. I don't really know. Like, I just don't really care. And you get people that get, like, like, there was that person here yesterday that just was getting all hot and bothered about it, and it was, like, like, I can understand you looking at it and being, like, you know, like, the, like, the first time I opened Twitch and I saw the girls that had, like, their boobs oiled up and it was, like, the camera was right here and she was, like, she was doing shit, I went, I was, like, what is happening right now? But then I was, like... Okay, well, get the bag. People are always going to push the limits to make money. Yeah, I mean, one thing that we get out of it, too, is with TOS, it's always really complicated with streamers because it's always really hard to find the line because the line is written a little bit like... Like the line is so convoluted, right? So anytime anybody pushes the line, it forces Twitch to draw the line a little bit more clear, which is never a bad thing. 
I think that that's something that Twitch can always improve on is explaining what the line is. And I guess the more examples that people give them, they can kind of dial it in a little bit better. It's not hard at all to just ignore it. I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The thing I always go back to, anytime anybody brings up the kids thing, they're like, well, there's kids on this platform. It's like, it's 2023. Kids can find whatever they want. If your kids want to look up naked people, they're doing it. And if you're if you don't want your kid to watch certain content like you got to just be kind of aware of like what they're watching but the reality is is you're not going to be able to and let's be real the sexual content that your children see on twitch is probably going to be the safer sexual content than what they could see on other websites so if you want your kid to not be exposed to boobs that's understandable but they're probably going to get exposed to boobs on twitch in a less weird way than they would on any other website <laughs> so you know what maybe you should just allow your kid to kind of not get jump scared by some weird video on a different website <laughs> yeah i don't want my kids seeing boobies i just give them the skibbity toilet and they're all right gotta accept that people like boobs I don't know I'll always go back to um, you know sexual uh, sex positivity where it's like boobs are boobs people are gonna look up boobs stop trying to tell people that nudity is bad it's normal I mean the the sex content that's on twitch is usually not like perverted it's usually not violent it's usually not something because I mean, there's like that big conversation about the porn industry and how it's kind of doing damage on young people because they're seeing these unrealistic standards of what like sex is. And I don't really think that that's something that they're gonna get from Twitch. They might get like a little bit of exposure to parasocial relationships or, you know, men in chat talking to the streamers terribly, but that's just something that they're gonna have to, like, they're not gonna see some incel in Twitch chat say something to the streamer and then have that be their whole personality in one day. There's more sexuality on TV shows and advertising than on Twitch. Yep. <laughs> Me mom got a mammogram and felt the need to tell me every detail. Skibbity Rule 34 probably exists. I'm sorry for sharing that. Don't look it up. <laughs> Granny's fibrosis boobs. This this was actually really good. I'm really happy with it. I don't want to be done streaming, but they're closing. I see a lot of sex traffic girls from my neighborhood on TV. Okay, that's, at the end of the day, people just want their money back, so it's not morality about their management. No, I mean, I don't know. I think you'd have to be silly goofy to think that, like, there's, there's two ways you can go about dealing with stuff like this. You can say, get the bag queen, I don't care, or you can get upset. And if you're upset about it, there's some sort of deep-rooted reason why, and it's usually when people get exposed to sexual content in a way that makes them uncomfortable. When people get uncomfortable, they get mad. That's like how most people are. Cool, okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, when people get uncomfortable, they get mad. And so I think this is what's happening is people don't really know how to like perceive that this is happening on this platform and they're uncomfortable by it and it makes them feel certain ways. And so their first reaction because their emotional intelligence is very low is to get mad, to get mad at the person who's doing it, you know? I think, I think it's like the same people that complain about like food stamps 
like instead like a lot of people will just get upset at the people that are using food stamps instead of the industry that makes people have to use food stamps it's like the same thing with this it's like they just get mad at the streamers that are doing this instead of realizing that like a lot of women have to utilize their sexuality because it's hard to be a content creator on a platform you know surprised anymore by the massive ones I see on the main page. My girl's got Triple H taught us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, how you, doing? you too. Offset the inherent disadvantages of misogyny in the industry. Yeah. Yep. It's like, it's so like, I think cyclical is the right word too, where it's like, like women have to do stuff like this so that they can have like, they can like um, survive in industries like this and because of it men think that they're getting ahead but we're not really getting ahead we're just like kind of doing what we have to do you know because if you you know if you want to be a gamer like think of like women that play like fps games they deal with people all day long coming in and trying to like big dog them just because they're like a girl like you know shroud doesn't have to deal with people being like a girl there's no way you know And when you're a female presenting streamer not doing anything sexual, people come in and expecting it. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, if I think if anyone should be mad about like that kind of content, it should be someone like me. Because what happens is um, people will come into my stream and they'll expect to be able to interact with me in the same way that those people let them interact, which I don't allow that here, and I'm not even upset. I'm not upset. I can handle that, you know? If somebody wants to take their tits out on the internet to get money, I'm okay with people coming in and being like, you know, like, I just don't really care that much. It's okay. So, like, if anybody should be upset about it, it should be, like, the other women on the platform, and we're not. We're not upset about it, so. For a chance to win 100 on Cash App? Whoa! Let's go. Um, there are definitely female content creators who utilize their sexuality on the platform to grow. People had an issue trying because Morg Pie is a porn star promoting her content, not trying to grow on Twitch. I mean, like, women can sexualize themselves to do whatever they want. It's a tool in your bag. I can't utilize the extra 30% of pay that, you know. Anybody who follows me gets nothing I do on stream. Guys, if you follow my channel, there is a chance that you will find $100 on the ground. Just saying. God forbid women have hobbies. <laughs> the idea of like, like saying somebody oiling up their tits is like a hobby is like, the, it's like, I picked up a new hobby. Sounds like she's cross-platform promoing. Good for her, that's smart. I don't know. At the end of the day, sometimes I just start thinking about things and then I think, is this really a big deal? Is this worth me thinking about, or can I move on to the next thing? And then I go, yep, <laughs> I can move on to the next thing. Um, like, I think everybody needs to do that. Like, if you start to feel yourself get flustered about something, stop and be like, is this worth my time to be flustered about? No? Okay, let's just move on to something else. Um, I'm gonna see if there's anything around here. It's like, cool. I don't really think that there is. This is kind of like a weird little like street. I hate to do like a short stream, but anything cool nearby? There's, it feels like there's always a music shop nearby. Every place that I go, every breakfast place. If there was like a good curb, I would just go sit on the curb and talk to you guys or walk around the neighborhood. 
with Oki. But I don't want her to go to the bathroom because I don't want to pick up poop on stream. Um. business lady in the building behind you? Um, yeah, hello, I'm here for business. Do you have any business that needs done? I'm here for business. Construction and warehouse workers use their bodies much more than sex workers do. Yeah, okay, can we talk about that? All of you probably know somebody that's in construction or some like physical labor and stuff. Like nobody gets like mad at them, you know what I mean? It's like. It's like, that is so disgusting that you're utilizing your body for money. <laughs> I guess it's very different, but like people, people like utilize their body for all kinds of different forms of labor. Like construction workers utilize their body for construction. Um, like everybody utilizes it, like athletes utilize their body for whatever. So this is just another form of utilizing your body to make money but you just add in the sexual thing and all of a sudden everybody gets all fucking pissed off. And you wanna know why? Cause women do it. How many times have you seen a guy streamer get up and like jokingly shake their ass on stream? They'll never get banned for it. If I did it, I'd probably get banned. If you say you do it, you have to clarify it's sexual or not, that makes them uncomfortable. Yeah, I can, like, to devil's advocate for, like, two seconds, I guess, like, I can understand the mentality of being, like, hey, like, the platform, um, like, I want to be able to come here and watch, like, League of Legends gameplay, and, like, like, I don't want my gaming platform to become, like, another kind of, like, platform, or, like, I, whatever, but that's such a weak argument, because it's, like, like, you can just come on here and watch your content that you want to watch. Like, League of Legends is never going to stop being broadcasted on Twitch because somebody else is doing something else, you know? Yeah. So it's like, that's like the only argument that like... It doesn't even hold legitimacy, it's just like... I can understand where you're coming from, but that's not true. I thought it's right, you can't show the outline of your dick personally feels like a straight line. It's like, um, you know, I just don't understand why when I wear gray sweatpants, like, I'm, I can't just, like, you know, rock the dick outline. What if I don't want League of Legends on my just chatting platform? I'm personally offended when I see League players on my recommended, and it's disgusting to me. And if the League players would stop oiling themselves up and streaming, you know what we should do? <laughs> To like, to like strike against people being upset about this, every streamer in every category should oil themselves up and just do what they're doing. <laughs> like, like we should have like a, an oil up strike. <laughs> Can I see your bag? Yeah. This is the bag I use for IRL streaming. I really recommend it. It's one of the like cross bags, like it goes across and it's like not very big. Highly recommend. I'm gonna leave because they close at three and I don't wanna be that guy that stays. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go just like walk real quick. It also um, wasn't that expensive too. I think it was like $30. It's pretty cheap. Okay, do I have everything? take you guys I don't know where but we're just gonna walk I think we're just gonna walk you guys want to just go walk um let's, see. let's go this way thank you you can go walk and just like sit on a bench or something because I only streamed for like four minutes okay please stop it's gonna be like kind of windy for a second okay please stop okay please stop okay please stop she's terrible at walking okay please stop um, Oki is there? Yeah. I would turn my camera around, but I hit my hands were full, so I can't turn my camera around. 
just walking down the street. I love this dog, but she is so horrible on the leash. Like she's like, it's like she doesn't even know that she's on a leash and she just, it's like she's mushing. She's trying to mush. Yeah, she's walking me for sure. Hey, stop, stop. I think I'm a little bit lost, but I think I was looking at a place over here to live when I very first was moving. I think I'm gonna go around this corner and see if this is one of the places that I looked at. It was cute, but um, the problem with it was that it was. Um, oh, you can like this. I'm probably just gonna like go back to the car because she's just being horrible. No, I can't like stream like this. She wants to be that I did around. She could. She absolutely could. I use I like to run with her sometimes because she can't like pull me along when we're running. But um she just will like go and then just stop. Okay. Stop. She'll go and then she'll just like stop and walk me through this weird little alleyway thing. I'm probably gonna end the stream. I can't I can't hold the phone and then hold her. She's awful. She has so many smells. Yeah, I saw a TikTok that said you can like walk your dog for two miles or you can walk your dog for one mile and let them stop and smell everything that they want to smell. And it will be like better than walking them for two miles because they just get way more stimulated. I'm so sorry Scooter stood you up. I kind of stood him up because I was like like we planned for this and then I just kind of forgot and then and then it was like last night at like three in the morning and I was like I don't like without doxing me and Scootish don't really live anywhere near each other so it's kind of hard to be like hey by the way tomorrow like let's find let's do this you know pop and sniff policies are good for once yeah yep exactly okay dog you gotta, you gotta stop. My arm is gonna fall off. I wish that there was a... Like, they're closing, so they're gonna, like, put everything up on the tables. But... I'm gonna just, like, sit right here for a sec. Oh, I just don't want to be done streaming yet, so I'm just gonna sit. She's so strong. She is. Okay, come here. Oakland. Hey, no, come here. Hey, no, stop. Sit. Sit. Who sit? Oh my goodness, she's so alert. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow, he's so happy. Yes, so happy. It's a happy lady. Okay, chat again. Hello, chat. Welcome back. Um. Yeah, I hate this because I don't really want to be done streaming. We don't have anything to go do except sit on this curb behind this random car. I know, look how alert she is. She's ready, ready to go. Please don't like poop behind me or anything. What are you guys doing for the rest of the day? Here, everybody has pit bulls. I just saw one, um, like as I was walking. Big boy. Curb stream. Nice butthole shot of Oki. Welcome. What are you doing? What are you smelling? I do have a mount in my car for a phone. I just don't know where to take you guys. You know, like I don't know where to take you. Like I don't have any like genius ideas of where to drive. Are you, please don't poop. Please don't poop right behind me. You can pee, that's fine. Oh, I'm just peeing. Okay. Okay. Can we get a sweet treat? I just ate. Can we go to Christmas Creek? I still have the uh, the donuts from last night. 
is there a dog park? I've actually thought about taking Oki to the dog park for a stream. My only concern is like, what if something bad happens? Like, what if she gets into like a fight or there's just something bad that happens? I want to be like, I just, if I take Oki to a dog park, I want to be like very aware of my surroundings. And I'm afraid that I wouldn't be able to do that if I was live. Yeah, that is true. There's like a, there's like doggy COVID going around right now. Um, like, uh, a bunch of people have like been asking around like for other people to like dog sit their dogs rather than taking them to like kennels and stuff it's like a super infectious like dog something yeah there's a dog disease going around wolf wolf 23 virus yep i don't know what i don't know what it is but it's just like a dog cold oki had a kennel cough once and it was so it was so scary because Oki doesn't puke. She doesn't ever throw up, which is cool, right? It's because she doesn't eat anything she's not supposed to, but um, she was just, she was like hacking. Like she was like, Bleh! and then she would like throw up a little bit of just like spit. And I kind of just had a feeling. I had a feeling, I knew what it was. And then I found out that this is so weird. So kennel cough is really infectious. Like it is so easy to get kennel cough. And I figured out um, that like I had gone to a wedding and the mom of the bride, who was one of my best friends in high school, her dog had kennel cough. So she had, her dog had had kennel cough. She went to the wedding. I talked to her at the wedding. I went home and then my dog got kennel cough. So like, that's how infectious it was, is like somehow, unless maybe like she got it somewhere else, but the problem is I didn't take her anywhere near any other dogs forever. So it was like, it was like that. Cause you can be like, oh, well it probably, she probably got it a diff different way. Like she wasn't around other dogs. So it had to be something like that. I've never heard of kennel cough. Um, it's like whooping cough, but for dogs kind of. Yeah. Do dogs cough? It, they like, it sounds like a loud gag. It's like a bleh, And then they'll usually like bleh, Like kind of hack. It's like when your cat is hacking up a hairball, kind of. Like that. It's really gross. The infectious agent just needs to be there. Yeah, that's how she got it. It was so weird. And then a bunch of other dogs around nearby were getting it too. Which is wacky. That's so wacky. Is that what squeaks head? Probably. A little kennel cough. What does it sound like? Bleh. Um, I'm gonna go because I'm just sitting on a curb and you know, whatever. Um, no stream tonight because Soup is doing the PvP Minecraft thing. So if you wanna do that, uh thank you guys for showing up. There's like a bunch of you that showed up. I don't know if I'm on front page right now. This is a weird time slot for me to be on front page, but um but thank you guys for all showing up. Come do murder in Minecraft. Uh, yeah, do that. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna try to work on animated emotes and some other stream stuff. So it'll be nice. And then I'm gonna, it's kind of weird. I can't buy House Flipper yet. Like I, I can wish list it, but it, it says on there that it comes out in like 15 hours, but I can't buy it yet sucks because I totally would and then I would just like sit and wait Blarney stream actually that's not a terrible idea I might do a Blarney stream and then just like try to make animated emotes on stream or like brainstorm stuff yeah maybe we'll see I'll let you guys know when I get home I love doing Blarney streams and I would do them more but the problem is if I do a Blarney stream I can't like stop and like walk away like I have to sit down and whatever but Let's go raid. Mm, we could raid Scootish. I'm sure he's talking shit. Let's raid Scootish. Yeah, Blarney Stream would be fun. Um, raid Scootish, and then our raid message is just gonna be Teehee. Because I don't know if it's his fault or my fault that we didn't do Eggs Benny today, but that will kind of um, show uh, either or. 
so so yeah um i appreciate you guys hanging out i really do there's been a lot of people watching stream lately and it's cool and i never know if it's front page or if i'm just am i on anybody's front page right now can anybody see i'm just curious can we get a front page check mine okay got it happy but also like then I don't have any idea what um, what it looks like. Okay, um, I'm going to raid out. Go say hi to Scootish, and I'll be live tomorrow. We're gonna finish Alan Wake tomorrow. I'm gonna try to like go live earlier, and then we'll finish Alan Wake because then we can do House Flipper on Friday. Yeah, does that sound good? Does that sound like a great time? I'll make let's go. Not buying the curses on my front page. Oh, cool. Let's go. Sick. I always know what my organic viewership right now, I think, is about 300 because on my screen it says 430, but there's 250 something people that are about to raid in, and embedded views don't go in with raids. Okay, bye.